So have you been thinking about moving out of state and what you really want is a mini homestead lifestyle? Well, this home is perfect for you. I am here today with my colleague, Kenna Halstein. You can say hi. Hello. And one of my teammates, I'm Summer Aston with the Silver Creek Realty Group and Summer Aston Real Estate Group. And we are gonna take you on a tour today of this beautiful home in Eagle, Idaho. This is Kenna's listing. Yeah. And so you guys, so Kenna's gonna take us through the house. She's gonna tell us all about it. So Kenna, do you have any things that you wanna mention well, about the exterior? Well, this is a 1973 tri-level and um, so many updates in this home and additions as well. So I think you'll be excited to see what they've added and updated. Yeah, there's some amazing features in this home. This is one of the best neighborhoods in yes. Eagle. Eagle country living. We're on a full acre here and there's no CCNRs or HOA. So you got a little freedom. Right, yeah, because so often we have clients that come and they want to live on acreage, but it's really hard to find a home on acreage here that doesn't have those HOAs. So let's check it out. Yes. Here we've got the entry and the living room has been updated. You have some newer flooring. Um, as we go into the kitchen here, so it's clean, it's functional, um, but it does have some room for updates. Yeah, so this is an awesome space. So most of this house like we were talking about has had a lot of updates to it but there's plenty of space in this kitchen for you to really make it your own um, and they've got a little pantry over here but if you were to take this out you could put it in an island and maybe add a bigger wall pantry over here so at least the space is here to really do right. whatever you want with it so where should we go so the next living areas we've got up and down split level obviously so upstairs we've got three bedrooms and a, an amazing primary suite you're gonna love yeah so this house is a total of how many bedrooms four bedrooms and three full bathrooms okay three full so bathrooms So we come to the first bathroom it's got some nice tile flooring updated um, full tile shower and so I love right off the bat that the guest bathroom has double sinks. So you have that for um, kids if you've got kids in here. And like Kenna said, really nice job doing tiling all the way up. And right near the master if you like that. Yeah, let's go into so the master bedroom. This, master. this was an addition um, a few years ago. And we've got some nice tall ceilings. Um, this beautiful barn door here that opens oh, up. Oh, yeah. Let's see how these work. This is awesome. It's just so roomy that right. you can just relax in here and have your own space and overlooks oh, the rest of the yeah. neighbor, which is gorgeous. Yeah, and they did a beautiful job on updating the two sinks. Mm -hmm. And then you, is there a walk-in shower? And a walk-in shower down here as well. Oh yeah, really nice walk-in shower uh -huh. with a bench and they did full tile and two shower heads in there. Absolutely beautiful so master closet. Yes. They have all custom built in shelving. So that's fantastic. Okay, so heading back downstairs, what are we gonna find oh, down on this have, level? Um, a rec room, We've got a pool table in there right now, but you could do whatever you want with it. We have a dedicated office Oh, and we okay. also have the fourth bedroom and full bath down here and the laundry. Oh, so okay. A lot, a lot going on. So you have four bedrooms and an office. Yes. And then full bath down here with the walk-in shower as well. You said down this way. Down this hallway, we've got storage, oh, laundry. HVAC house behind here. Oh, okay. Lots here's, of storage. Here's our fourth bedroom. Um, oh, wow. Guests love this area down here because it's quiet and yeah private and kind yeah of a good getaway there's this is a very versatile bedroom the room is back here with a, a nice big pantry for all your large items and um nice counter space in here as well and it opens up to the backyard yeah and then you've got another storage closet right over here too so what is really fantastic about the homes they're a little bit older is all of the storage because as you know in the new houses there is such a lack of storage. So that's always a problem that's great in these older homes, they've got storage. So let's head back upstairs. There are so many fantastic surprises yes. in this yard and the shop, and we wanna show you all of that. Yeah, let's... 
Well, let's go through the garage. Okay, perfect. So here you have the attached two-car garage. It's oversized. Um, you know the garages, the new ones, oh, they yeah. just aren't very There's like very two big. feet on either side. So you do get some more depth and some more width in the older garage. Go it's ahead and take us in. <laughs> for any of your workshop needs, yeah. projects, welding, woodworking, you name it, work on your car. Yeah. Um, we do have the roll-up door in the back so you can drive around and pull in that way. Okay, so there is another great, another surprise. great surprise. So let's go see that. Um, as you walk past the shop area, you have a separate private entrance for the space above the shop, which is the same dimension, 48 by 35. So if you had a business, then you there is room for parking here. Of course, all of this stuff would have to be permitted and checked with the city, but there is some space for parking out front. And then you can come have your guests come in through this door and then go up into the space. So yeah, let's go yeah, check it out. Go. go ahead. Okay. So we have power up here. We don't have um, any restrooms uh, in this building or water. So that would be another um, issue if you wanted, depending on the use you wanted. Right. You could finish it as a living space that's allowable. Right. You just have to pull your permits and get everything in line with the city. So how many, I think I read that this, the square footage of this space alone was 1,600? Yes, 1,600 square feet, which would make a lovely right. living area. Living area, guest house, Business. right. So if you needed to add a certain amount of bedrooms or something, you obviously have to have all of that permitted. Yes. You could possibly need an additional septic, but think of all the possibilities you could do mm -hmm. with this space. For sure. So this is so fantastic. And then we definitely want to show you the outside. This home is on just over an acre. Yes. And so the lot is absolutely beautiful and there's a little garden shed. So let's yes. go check all of that out. Okay. Let's go out to the backyard and we'll see the rest of the property. Yes, I love this backyard. So we've got a giant patio. Yeah, I could imagine the string lights going here. Yep. And they have a little fire pit here. A little fire pit area yeah. that you could do pretty much whatever and host nice large groups. Right, yeah, you could have a hot tub. Do they have a hot tub here? Uh, they don't, but you could easily yeah. find a spot for I'd that. I'd put a hot tub out yeah. here. I'd... So this is where the laundry room opens up. Oh, and... okay. So this is really nice too because if you did have um, like a young adult living with you and they wanted their own separate entrance, they could come in down here and live in this little downstairs section and then you'd be living mm -hmm. upstairs. So that's, that's really nice possible. too. Yep. So over here we have this darling potting shed oh, and, okay. or a hobby house or whatever your use would be. Um, but it was hand built by the owner and oh, very yeah. sentimental, but it's staying. So yeah, let's go inside and let's check inside. this out. It's so cute, all the plantings that they did. And they have a nice antique door. So it does have power in here. They haven't added in the lights yet, but there is power. Yes. Oh, and there's also there's water, water out here. So yeah. you've got a sink out here. It's so, darling. Yeah, you could use this for an exterior office if you needed mm -hmm. to. Um, you could use it for a little homeschool room. How fun would that be to take your school away from your main living environment? Um, and or you could use it for a potting shed use it for a little yoga area so it'd be amazing okay so as we walk around the property can I tell us a little bit about the lot lines and things like can they have horses here yes this is fully fenced so um, you don't have to worry about pets um, escaping and yeah. you do have the ability to have horses if you'd like uh, the city you, will have rules reason, about a certain amount of horses um, it might be two or cows even mm -hmm. Um, I know the city of Eagle rule on chickens is they just can't be a nuisance to yeah. your neighbor. So yeah. obviously you can have chickens. So yeah, tell us a little bit more as we walk and around. With the house closer to the, the street, you get a lot of uh, yard to work with in the back, which is not only private, but it's, it's useful if you have um, gardening you wanna do, right. um, outdoor projects. But it's charming as, and you've got the the mature landscaping it's just a peaceful tranquil yeah. um, area back here so 
Yeah, it's fantastic. So they do have, so the whole property is fenced, like Kenna was saying, mm -hmm. yep. but it is kind of separated into this forward section, which yes. is probably about you a half an acre. Like. And then this back section was is about another half an acre. Another fantastic thing about this property is that it, um, so it's on well water, on but well. It, all the sprinklers are, what's keeping the lawn so green mm -hmm. is that all the sprinklers are tied into the well water. So that's really nice and free. Yes. There's also irrigation access. Um, yes. Right now the sprinklers are not tied into the irrigation, but you could flood irrigate if you yes, wanted. You There's a canal um, that runs across the back. Yeah, so that's where that comes why from. don't you kind of point out the property lines here? So this uh, solid fence here, and then this this row of trees in the back is right uh, beyond. That's the canal, and then um, this is fenced on this side as well. You can drive through this gate down the side of the shop, and then you can drive through if you needed to, like they have, and park their boat and their cars and other extra trailers back here. Yes. There are solar panels on this home as well, and they're they're owned, so you wouldn't have any additional oh, cost good. to um, your power bill. Your power okay. bill's right about five dollars a month, oh. and um, that's how it's it's calculated. You wouldn't have any kind of cost to that. Okay, that's fantastic. So that does bring me to a question then: Is the gas have does the house have natural gas? It does. Oh, okay. For their for their heaters. Oh, yeah, perfect. Furnace. And it's not very oh, old. I think good. it's within five years old. Okay, so good. So you of. could add a gas um, oven in the kitchen if you want. Oh, wanted. yeah, you could. Absolutely okay, perfect. Because sometimes if you've done any research here, some of the homes when they're out on land in the hills, um, which this home is not in the hills, it's no. right in the heart of Eagle. Yes. Like minutes, you can ride your bike from here to downtown gotcha. Eagle. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's you can ride your bike to the middle school. That's why it's such a fantastic location. But some of the homes on the hills in Eagle, they do not have access to natural gas, and so they're all electric homes. But that's fantastic. Yep. So you've got the solar, you've got your well, you've got the septa tank, mm -hmm. you've got your are natural gas. Super low. Yeah, it's super yeah. cheap cost of living here. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us on the tour. Thanks, Kenna, for yes, taking my us pleasure. on the tour. My this is a fantastic property. It's very unique. If you're into the mini homestead lifestyle and you're looking for that, this is the absolute perfect property for that. If you want more information about it, you can reach out to me, summerastonrealestate.com. And me and my team are always happy always. to help. You can go to the website, summerastonrealestate.com, download all kinds of useful information about moving to the Boise area, more information about Eagle on the Community Eagle page, and reach out to us. We are happy to help. Happy to help.